Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly March 1st through March 7th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the Devil, the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, the main point of this spread is um, you're refusing something after a very straightforward, very bold and cut through conversation with this person. It could be a Capricorn or this person could have tried to uh, lure you in somehow, tell you lies, try to persuade you to do something, perhaps promised you lots of money, promised you a lot of give and take. And you're seeing right through it. You're not uh, giving in and you're refusing whatever this person is offering you. And this could be a new job situation, a new uh, project situation, or if you're a business owner, it could be uh, something related to a new partnership. And you're not having it, you're seeing right through it, and you're letting them know that uh, you're not really uh, open to this proposition, to this opportunity. Sagittarius, if you're in an established love relationship such as marriage or partnership, this spread is for you. We've got Justice, we also have the Tower clarified by the Five of Swords, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Cups. Well guys, this doesn't really look good. Um, some of you could be filing for a divorce as a result of a fight, or you're in the middle of a divorce and you're fighting over kids or you're fighting over finances and assets and uh, this just doesn't really look good like I said um, there could have been some kind of a, a rejection that you were waiting for and that could have caused the fight and uh, the separation or the uh, divorce but um, the main point here is all of a sudden there is some sort of a fight and uh, you could be seven ties with this person. Um, not sh sugarcoating for you, I just gotta call what I see. Hopefully it gets better for you soon. Let's talk about new love Sagittarius. We've got the five of cups, the three of swords and the four of cups. I didn't even want to pull any additional cards because this is very straightforward. Um, whoever comes towards you with a new love offer, that offer will be rejected. Um, and there will be lots of regrets, it will cause heartbreak or heartache, but the main point is that uh, you're done, you don't really vibe with this person for some reason. It could be somebody from the past, because the Five of Cups could be an indication of somebody who's got regrets for what happened in the past between you and uh, that person but the main idea is that you're not really open to uh, this new love offer from this person. Let's talk about love from the past. Uh, keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago or five years ago. We've got Strength, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo. So um, yeah, somebody is trying to come back from the past and this is actually a wish fulfillment for either you or them and whoever is on the receiving end is gonna take a little while to process this uh, reconciliation request. They're gonna be uh, weighing all pros and cons, thinking about it, thinking it through but I think eventually the uh, offer to reboot this relationship will be accepted. We've got the Strength card, which is, uh, like I said, could be a Leo or it could be lots of passion, 
lots of fiery emotions and we also have the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and that's one of the uh, best cards when it comes to relationships and couples this is abundance this is real estate uh, owned together you know things like that so if an ex if that particular ex tries to uh, reboot this relationship with you the advice I think here is to go ahead with it I don't see any negative cards only the positive and abundant cards so good luck let's see if anything will surprise us Sagittarius this week we've got the ace of swords the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles and the devil on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a whole bunch of earth signs uh, Taurus Virgos or Capricorns and we've got uh, both uh, female and male earth signs so it could be a uh, some kind of a business partnership between you and either one of those people or uh, a multiple number of people or it could be a group of uh, colleagues at a workplace and uh, this spread really reminds me of the uh, work spread I did in the beginning for you and I think um, the main point here is there will be some kind of a breakthrough or some sort of a straightforward conversation between you and either one or all these people and uh, it'll be up to you as to how you'd like to uh, get through this uh, situation but like I said this will be a surprise for you that uh, you'll have to you know cut through some bullshit or have a very bold conversation with your colleagues with your co-workers or with your business partners and that will be the surprise of the week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing